Hello guys, this is Glenn from Sydney CBD Repair Center and today I'm going to show you how you can remove your Google Home Mini uh, from your Google Home app. So if you've already paired these two, in this case we have our Google Home Mini right here and you have your Google Pixel 2. So in case you want to change your phone or you want to give the Google Home Mini away, you might want to safely disconnect your account from your device so same thing with connecting or configuring it to be set up with a Google Home Mini in in Android 10 you have to download the Google Home app so obviously you have your uh, Google Home Mini set up here in the room that you specified last time we uh, set it up for the bedroom so in this case, we have our mini me speaker here. So we can have the settings. And then you can see here, it's to remove device. So if we go back, you just click on it, settings, and then write down the settings menu you can remove device remove from home or unlink you can also just remove your voice match so the device can't recognize your voice when you change it or give it away you change the phone so this time we're going to remove it from home and unlink it completely so remove device so remove device from your home and link from your google account it will no longer give personalized responses or respond to its custom name. So if you have custom settings, uh, the machine learning will be erased from your device. So if you tap remove, your mini me speaker has been disconnected. So you can still see it here, but it's not really connected to any Google account so it's already it's just detected that the Google Home Mini is in the same network home network but it's not linked to your account so it's it means that it's already safely removed so if you like this tips and tricks video with your Google Home Mini you can subscribe to Sydney CBD Repair Center or if you have a cracked screen a broken battery or you just want to replace a, a very scratched screen from your iPhone Android device we we can replace it for you just contact Sydney CBD repair center and we'll have it fixed in no time so till next time guys cheers